Oh shit. If we talking about a good movie, a good movie, this a good movie. Okay? This a good movie. Ron Reynolds, Free Guy. If you ain't seen it, if you ain't seen it, go see it. Okay? I'm going to give you a little description of what the movie is about, though. <clears throat> okay. Ron Reynolds is a video game character. He's in a video game, but he don't even know that he's in a video game. He's thinking that this is real life. So every day on a day-to-day -day basis, he's doing the same thing every day, every day. But on this particular day, he's like, no, nah, hold on. I want to be one of the glasses people because the people with the glasses are superheroes. So he gets some glasses, right? Become a hero, but he's still thinking that this is real life. But the people who are watching the game, playing the game, is like, who is this dude that's just like, you know, taking over the whole game? But this is his real life. But then he figured out that he in the video game, so now he got to save the game because it's his home. You know what I'm saying? It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Go see it. Candyman is out now. Yep, that's right. Candyman is out now. Go grab some candy, go grab some popcorn, go watch Candyman. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I do want to say this, though. Who is the person who came up with uh, saying a scary person name a number of times? Like, if you say uh, lampshade guy three times, then he appears. Like, lamb guy, lamb guy, lamb guy. Ah, who came up with that shit? Huh? Because simply, all you have to do is not say the person's name and you're cool. But since I just said lampshade the guy, I'm probably done for it. I'm probably done for it. Uh, and does it work like if you say it three times in a row or just three times in general? See, it's not really a consent rules on the calling a scary person's name. Like, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Rah, right? See, it's just like, if I don't say the name ever, do I die? Now, this, one, this right here. There's some shit. Old. Okay? Have you ever seen the movie Benjamin Button? If you haven't, here goes a brief description. Benjamin Button was about <clears throat> some dude <clears throat> who was born old. Born like 80 years old. And when he grew up, he was actually growing younger. So he died being a baby. Some, some shit like that. But look, this movie is the same. But the whole island make you old. Right, old, young, both, all of that. One person woke up, they said, oh my gosh, they're 12 now. Then they went to sleep and they was 82. Like, it, the movie's just, everybody on the island becomes old or young. It's, the whole island is the Benjamin Button Island. Everybody on there is going through that. So, if you want to see that, old is the movie for you. Come and see a dear that's near you. I think it's time for a static shock movie. We done had hella, hella superhero movies. Nobody ever thought about static shock. I don't even know what team he on, Marvel or DC. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not DC. Before Corona. Okay. <coughs> this point might be. All right, anyway. Uh, static shock needs a movie. He needs a movie. He deserves it. He deserves a movie. That's all I gotta say. It's only right. It's only right. It's only right. He was the first black superhero I knew. So. Thank you. I had to remake this video. Because, uh, it really made me mad talking about this. Y'all better stop playing with Kanye, though. This album was for his mama, and y'all really just finna play with this man like he's a joke. Right. Right. Y'all wanna, wanna write the goddamn uh, Pe Pepe Le Pig. Y'all wanna write that higher than Kanye album, really? Not only is this for his mama, it's a gospel album. Those two, if you don't like that, you're, you. who are you? What? You don't love your mama and you don't love God? Who are you? Who are you? If you, if, how do you, you know, it's just like, you can't even expect people to, to like good music. This is 2021. They not even expecting anything with a topic about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, Certified Lover Boy just dropped. Drake said, Nike don't pay me to do it. 
they pay me to do it again. And he was not lying. Hits after hits after hits. Okay. Uh, this is why Drake is the GOAT. Right. Blase, blase, woo do woo do woo poop dee poop dee scoop. Right. <clears throat> he's the GOAT because, simply because, he's one of the only rappers where you actually care about their personal life. Think I'm lying? Kanye West then went from talking about his personal life to everybody else's life. This is not even to throw them in the same whoop de whoop, right? But just hear me out. Kendrick, he's not just talking about his personal life. Like, do you know how good you have to be for people to steal right. you? Drake and Kanye just dropped an album. Certified Lover Boy, Donda. Who had the better album? Let's see. Drake, of course. Hit Boy, you know. He's coming with the hits. Kanye, on the other hand, is coming with the production, right? In my eyes, don't don't fault me for this. I do. I really don't care. Kanye had the better album. Why? Why? Like I said, Drake is a goat because he can talk about him sipping tea, smoking a cigar, watching Adonis all day, and still trying to find a woman at the age of 50. That's what makes him a goat because we care, right? Kanye is a goat because he is breaking barriers. He is doing stuff that nobody is doing, simply. Nobody's mad that they're not on Drake's album. They're mad that they're not on Kanye's album. Kanye had the better album. Uh, I'm sorry, it was more substance. Off the Grid is one of the best songs of the year.